Hey folks, welcome back to Culinary Quest. I'm uh, out here checking on the bees and trees and stuff and just, you know, just kind of chilling, um, enjoying sunlight again. <sighs> uh, yes, we do still need to finish up in the twilight. We do still need to find a dark tower and uh, loot some cake from it, I guess. We will not do that this week. I've had enough of the twilight again for a little while. All right, look, uh, check this out. This is a silver lime tree, right? Okay. This is also a silver lime tree, but look, it has some kind of things on it. Um, I wonder if, uh, yeah, it's still a silver lime sapling, okay? Um, this is weird. I, I have not seen this. This is a new development. Uh, a silver lime with some kind of weird looking fruit on it. Let's throw this in the analyzer and see uh, what it says. Here, just, um, uh, where'd it go? There it is. Uh, while we're at it, uh, hum that in there. Are my pants charged yet? Not quite. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, it's still thinking. All right. Um, while that's doing the thing, I should, uh, I'm going to go over the museum here. Let's go to the museum. Uh, let's see. What can we work on today? What can we do today? Uh, I think let's work somewhere in the vegetable wing today. I got an itchy nose. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, all the biomes are plenty stuff. Um, I was a plenty of sunflower seeds. Um, okay. I will not do that right now. <laughs> um, here we go. Here we go. This will do. All right. Oh, uh, where's my pencil? You'll do. Okay. Brock. And yeah. celery soup. Yeah, we're gonna work on... What the heck was that? Anyway. We're gonna work on veggies today. <laughs> uh, something apparently decided to unplug itself from my computer while I wasn't looking. I, I do not know. I do not know. All right. Let's, uh, go take a peek over at my pants first. Whoa, hello. Pants. Pants are done. All right, charge up my shoes. Put my pants back on. I still, why am I still walking around with an Enderman head? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just walk barefoot for a while. Well, the grass feels good on your toes. Uh, how about... Are we done here? Apples? Apples? No, no, no. No. No, no, no. Okay, fruit, apple. Okay. Let's go put it in the, uh, in the chest. Huh. Or actually, um... Where's the trealizer? Since it's already been analyzed, it should. Fruits, apple. It's a lime tree. It, it's a lime tree, and it's sprouting apples. Oh. My God, this is not okay. I'm I'm not okay with this. I don't like this. Uh, here, give it back. The, the, this is not... Waiter, please take this back to the kitchen. This is not what I ordered. I don't want you. I don't want you. You're making apples. Actually, I do want you, though. Because if it's making fruit, maybe it's more likely to mutate 
into something that will give me a different kind of fruit. All right, all right, I'll, I'll you you can live for now. Uh, I swear, forestry is going to be the death of me. I've I I have that Billum some more now catalog in there. I can order some forestry fruits if I need to. Um, the closest I've come to it so far was for this coffee, right here. Um, I'm actually seriously considering cashing in all of my emeralds and buying some forestry fruit because this is a pain in the booty. Okay, anywho, <laughs> let's uh, let me put this pumpkin away. Have I got pumpkins filed under fruit? I think. Okay. Um, put these here. Let's just replace my naga head. I'll put you on the wall too, cause I already got one of you. Give it here. All right. Uh, well, up here we'll we'll have another one right next to the cake. There we go. Uh, let's crack under brick. I don't really have a use for this, but I'm gonna put it there anyway. Because, because, just for for reasons. Um, iron chest plate. Why do I have that? I'll go smelt that. Is what I'll do. Eep. I will go throw that right in there. Okay. Let's see. I think I've got some uh, extra stuffs here. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. That in there. Uh, Gibbs. Throw those in there. Nugs. Okay, there we go. So that that's better. That's clean my inventory out just a hair. Yeah. Okay. Anything good in here right now? Uh, probably not, cause I haven't given it a sword in a while. Oh, I made cheap ones on me, do I? Nah. It's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay. All right. So let let's let's us get to work here. Uh, first thing, broccoli mac. Alright. Broccoli. This is one of my favorite things. I love broccoli mac and cheese. Alright. Uh, have I got any cheese chilling? I have a cheese. Have we any pasta? We do not, but we can. Pasta is dough, mixing bowl, and butter. Okay. I uh, got no dough either. Have I got flour? Oh, good grief. I got nothing. Okay. Give me this. Mortar and pestle. Flour. Okay. And dough is flour, salt, water, and a mixing bowl. If I remember correctly. Let's get some... A uh, couple of fresh waters here. And turn some of them into salt. Give that here. Pot. There we go. And put that away. Uh, do I have any butter? I have a butter. Okay. Mix some bowl. Water. Flour. Salt. Here's a dough. There's some pasta. I, and do what now? Oh, need the broccoli, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to make broccoli mac without the broccoli. Alright. I don't like broccoli. Broccoli is gross. Broccoli is nasty. You haven't had broccoli cooked right. Trust me. Uh, broccoli is, is tasty. When it is cooked right. Um, the only problem is, uh, it's hard to find, you know, it's, it's hard to find people who cook it right. That's the problem. They want to boil the heck out of it until it turns into mush when you poke it with a fork. That's no good. No, what you do, you, you know what, you know the easiest way to make you some broccoli? I mean, other than just ripping it off the crown and dipping it in ranch dressing, which we're get back, about to get to. The best thing to do with broccoli, you put it in a bowl with like a tablespoon of water. I like fill up your bowl, you know, you know serving size bowl, you know, with broccoli. And I see, I, that's the other problem with restaurant broccoli. It's like all stem. That's the worst part of the broccoli. Uh, it's like eating a tree truck. No, 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 no. Uh, just, just the crowns. Just the flowery parts. The florets. Uh, there's got to be more broccoli here somewhere. 
Uh, come on, there's got to be more broccoli. Oh, oh no. That's all weeds. That's no good. Uh, are you a broccoli? That's a leafy garden. Hey, there's a broccoli. Uh, how many more broccolis do I need? Just, just one. This is this is enough broccolis. It's an old meme, sir, but it checks out. Um. Uh, you know what I am gonna do though? I, I I'm gonna make more broccolis. Cause I like broccoli. But anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, you take a you know, just a like a cereal bowl, and pack it full of broccoli crowns, you know, bite-sized florets. You put about a tablespoon of water in there, you put a pat of butter in there, maybe some garlic, uh, maybe a little bit of salt, and you cover it up with plastic wrap real good. And you nuke it for about three minutes. Uh, you'll know it's done when it starts to smell like broccoli, and also when it turns nice and bright green and pretty. That That's how you know it's ready. If it goes beyond bright green, if, if it turns kind of um, olivey green, you've overcooked it, you've ruined it, it's mush, it's no good. Oh, well. So then you, know, you take it out, you sprinkle a little bit of parm on it, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. You put it in your face. And it's the best thing ever. Trust me, and it's it doesn't taste anything like you think broccoli would taste like. It, it actually tastes good. There we go. All right, there's another broccoli. Okay. And, you know, you bite into it. It'll have a little bit of snap to it still. But, you know, it, it won't be, it'll, you know, it won't be, you know, tough or chewy. It'll just have a little bit of, a little bit of snap so that you can, uh, you know, you can, Trust me. Just just trust me. It's good. All right. Uh, broccoli and dip. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. I need an onion and some heavy cream. We'll, we're, we'll use actual milk for this, I think. Do I have some heavy cream just chilling? I said I'd use actual milk for this. I lied. <laughs> well, you can make soy milk out or, or uh, heavy cream out of soy milk, right? You sure can. Soy cream. Boy. All right, uh, what, what else do I need? The mixing bowl. And an onion. Okay, now, for real dip, there's gonna be more to it than... It's the coldest weekend of the year so far. The ice cream truck is running. What's going on out there? Oh, my God. Okay, Brock and dip. There we go. Give me... Oh, it, it's right there. And off you go. Cross it off. All right. Well, moved on. Moving on to one of my favorite holiday dishes, the candied sweet potatoes. What do I need for the candied sweet potatoes? Candied sweet potato. I got a little ahead of myself there. Okay. Uh, cinnamon sugar. Okay. Now look. There's more to it than that, right? I, yeah, you get a little bit of a little sprinkle of pumpkin pie spice. You get a little sprinkle of sugar. Um, you get a little bit of canned pineapple. You get a whole bunch of marshmallows. Yeah, no. Um, I need cinnamon real bad. Okay. Um, my aunt has actually um, she actually by accident came up with a really good sweet potato casserole. I mean, first of all, it involves uh, sweetened condensed milk, which right away, I mean, just that by itself, my God. <laughs> that That is some good stuff. But um, she'd top it with cornflakes before she put it in the oven. And one year, by accident, she got a hold of uh, banana cornflakes instead of the regular ones. Those were the best sweet potatoes we have ever had in our lives. The entire family said so. So that that became the recipe from then on, is uh, banana cornflakes on top of the sweet potatoes. And, you know, that's how recipes happen. People put stuff together. It's a saucepan. And, oops, they accidentally uh, do a thing that they didn't maybe mean to do, and it worked out well, and you have a new recipe. 
Um, I, I'm not sure I can say as much for the time that my stepdad accidentally dredged a whole bunch of catfish in powdered sugar before he fried it instead of flour. Well, uh, surprisingly enough, it actually did turn out quite good. Uh, <laughs> um, I didn't, we don't know how, but it did. All right, let's get mashed sweet potatoes up. Oh, well, that's easy. Uh, except how, how do butter? I know it's heavy cream, right? I'm reasonably sure it's heavy cream. And a saucepan and salt. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, uh, I need another, uh, need another tater. I need another yam. I am what I am and that's all that I am. I'm no, never mind. Sorry. Okay. Mashed sweet potatoes. Off you go. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, steamed peas. Bleh. <laughs> S says the person who just told you to eat your broccoli, right? Steam. No, pea peas actually are good. Um, you just, again, you have to cook them right. You can't boil them until they're mush. Uh, pot, salt. Well, that's easy. Do I have the pot on my person? I do not. But I have salt and water. And I can get the pot. And I can get peas. Right? Okay, there we go. Alright. A pot. Uh, that almost sounds more like edamame than peas. But that would be soybeans and not regular peas. Alright. Goodbye, peas. Okay. Turnip soup. H how do you turnip soup? Yep. Turnip. Okay. Uh, turnip, pumpkin, butter, and some stock. I think I still got some stock chilling somewhere. I think. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, pumpkin. We just put some away. That that looks more like a turnip. The rutabaga looks more like a turnip than a turnip does. No, not there. Uh, no, not there. Okay. And some butter. So I need to make another butter. Okay. Ah, I've got salt. Okay. Give me the saucepan back. So I talked to somebody uh, on, on the interwebs. Oh, poop. A couple of days ago, they were... Whoops. They were... Uh, they drew a turnip Pokemon. You know, it was cute. Uh, they mentioned that they were sad because they were peeling turnips for a soup. And... They were sad because the turnips were so pretty and so purple and the peel, when they were peeled, they just kind of lost that. Well, good news. Um, peeling turnips is optional. You do not have to peel turnips before you eat them. Um, you should wash them because they live in dirt. Uh, <laughs> and there are some sources saying, well, you don't even have to wash them if you're baking them. Yeah, no, if they live in dirt, they're going to get washed before they go in my face. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. There's the turnip soup. Because other things live in dirt besides turnips. And I don't want to eat those things. So, yeah. Off you go. Uh, baked turnips. Okay. Give me a, obviously, we're going to need a turnip. Um, I guess that's baked turnips. Uh, more butter, salt, black pepper, and bakeware. Okay, well. Give me more. Give me some more butter. Um, let's turn that into salt. Uh, actually, I'm going to need another salt, because, uh, the salt and the butter, plus the salt that actually goes on the turnips themselves. Uh, why, why? Oh, right. Okay. Now the saucepan. Now the cream. Now the salt. Okay. Okay, let, let's put some bakeware, some cookware away. I don't need you right now. I don't need you right now. I do not need you right now. I need... Nope, not you. You. And I need some pepper. Uh, have I got pepper just chilling in here? I got peppercorns. I can have pepper. Uh, that. That's what I need. 
Okay. Alright, let's do this. Let's bake these turnips. Turnip, butter, pepper, and salt. There we go. Off you go. Okie doke. Next, summer radish salad. Okay. Summer rad. That's the 80s salad. All right, radish, cucumber, onion, vinegar. I, I need more cucumbers. I need vinegar. Um, have I have I any grapes chilling in here? I have. Let's see. I believe it's grape juice. And you boil it down. Whoops! What did I just do? Grape juice. And I think you just uh, put it in a pot and boil it. Yeah. That's how you... Give me the pot. That's how you do the thing. Okay. Okay. I need a uh, radish. That's a beet. I need a radish. I need a cucumber. Uh, what the heck else did I need? An onion. Okay. I can, I can get an onion. My nose itches. Um... I know I got onions out here somewhere. Onions. There we go. And it's uh, what manner of cookware? A mixing bowl. Give it here. All right. Mixing bowl. Uh, mixing bowl. Radish. Cucumber. Amium. Vinegar. Of course, you want to put some, you know, some salt and pepper and stuff on it too, I guess. But this is just the uh, the bare bones recipe. All right, we're almost done here. Okay, this one I don't think I even really need the recipe for. This is celery and peanut butter. I I don't think I need the recipe. Um, oh fudge, have have I celery? Ah, uh, rhubarb, but that's not celery. Oh poop. Um, where's celery? What would celery be? Celery would be a leafy garden? Oh, there it is. There it is. It just, it didn't look like celery. Okay. Uh, give me a peanut. Alright. The juicer. Yes. Uh, you juice a peanut to get peanut butter. My, why not the mortar and pestle? I don't know. I didn't write the mod. Okay, I bet if you just put them together, you get celery and peanut butter. I <laughs> didn't even have to look that one up. Uh, where'd my pen go? I just had it. I just had it. Okay, there it is. It wasn't even a tablet pen. It was just a normal pen. I need uh, peas. Peas and celery is next. And I can, I, I'm can. i just going to go out on the limb. I'm just going to swing wide here. And guess that peas and celery are somehow involved in this. Peas and I bet that's it. Peas and celery. Peas, celery, lemon juice, pepper, and a mixing bowl. Okay. No, lemon. No, just lemon. No, not juice. Just, just a lemon. Just a lemon. And some pepper. Okay. Let's grab the mixing bowl while I'm at it. Uh, grab... Mortar and pestle. There we go. Alright, I think I have to do this on a crafting table. Mixing bowl, celery, peas, lemon, and black pepper. Alright, and then there's one more thing. Oop, off you go. Celery soup. Now, I hope that's a cream of celery soup, because that doesn't even sound... It is not. It's just celery, carrots, onions, and... Oh, boy. Okay. Let's go out and get another onion. Do I have another? No, I do not. That's okay. I can get one. I can get one real quick. There we go. <laughs> uh, carrots chillin'. Potatoes. There we go. Just throw me a carrot there. 
<laughs> okay. All right. And I've got some stock still chilling up here. And I need a celery. Okay. And the pot. And I think that's it. I think that is all I need. No seasonings, no nothing. It's not even cream of celery. It's just stock and... Yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh. <laughs> stock and vegetables. Where's my stock? There it is. Celery soup. Okie doke. Uh, you go there. Alright. And you go there. And now I'm going to go to the museum. Why do I have a cheap iron pickaxe on me? I, it is a mystery. Oh, I bet I got it off a red cap. I, I bet that's what happened. All right. Let's go put some stuff away. broccoli mac. All right. We got this wall to do. We got this wall to do. And then we got the biomes of plenty stuff to find. I'll go do some exploring off camera and hopefully round some of that up. Uh, let's see. Let's go uh let's go check on our myster mysterious trees again. Okay. Do I have some bone meal hanging out here anywhere? I, I may have tried this already. No. Okay. I may have already tried this. This being to throw bone meal at that saguaro cactus. Um, bones? Any? Any bones? They'd be down in the gib chest. Oh, uh, let me close the door. <laughs> Instead of uh, just, you know, leaving it open like a wild animal. Oh, hey. There we go. Just come over here and... Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Nope. Uh, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh, I see. No, I, I didn't see. I saw... I saw darkwood leaves. Oh, I, I do see. I see right over there. Give me, give me my grafter. Okay. Please be something good. You are an apple oak. Okay. Oh, give me that. We'll cut you down. And we'll put you there. How the heck did I get a silver lime sapling? Oh, that's the one that I analyzed. Okay. Oh, there's, there's another one. Okay, that one I will replace this one with. Okay. Uh, anything else? Anything else uh, mutanted on me? Anything else need to be uh, grafted? Let's check over here. Let's check the underside. Check the bees. Okay, we need to throw a princess in there. Alright. Uh, I need a princess here. And then there's this thing. Okay, that was that there? I don't remember. I don't remember. That's a forestry tree. Obviously, I put it there at some point. Okay. Well, eh. Nothing else interesting has happened. Okay. You're still doing your thing. All right. Did I miss a hive? No, you're still doing your thing. 
What about you? What are you doing? Nothing. You have no princess. There you go. Okie doke, folks. Uh, I am going to go take a break. I'm going to go do some work. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. See if I can't wrestle up some some biomes of plenty of stuff, shrooms and whatevers. I can't believe that thing's got apples on it. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Let's see. Yep, I, that's what I thought it looked like. It's a curly thing. So, uh, there is... Ow, 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 ow! Ugh, poison ivy. There is a thing... What the heck? <laughs>